GPT-5, OpenAI's newest model just dropped, and people are saying this is going to end all AI businesses. GPT can do everything that these AI agencies or AI apps are doing all by itself. Well, as a software engineer in big tech with a specialization in AI, as well as someone who runs his own multi six-figure AI startup, I had to see if this was the case. So I spent the last couple of days playing around GPT-5. I want to break down everything I have learned from it. First, I want to go over the notable benchmarks that we use to see which AI model is the best. So we have the software engineer benchmark, the sweet benchmark, which is used to measure AI's ability for coding tasks. GPT-5 scored the highest out of any AI model at a 74.9%. In other words, every three out of four coding tasks, GPT-5 can do successfully. The next benchmark is the Ader Polygot benchmark, where GPT-5 scored at 88%. In other words, it can handle nine out of 10 code editing tasks. This is pretty huge because when you are debugging code or you need to make certain changes, for your AI model to be very efficient with doing that is a huge thing for any engineer, developer, or any non-technical person building an AI system. That may involve a little bit of code. Another important benchmark is Kali, which it scored a 99% on. In other words, this benchmark lets us know that GPT-5 could follow instructions very accurately, actually scored higher than any other previous uh, GPT model. So there is some improvement, but it's not anything that you will probably notice. So with these super high benchmark ratings, there here's some other benchmarks that GPT-5 uh, hit. Does this mean software engineers are doomed? Maybe, at least the beginner ones are. But if you're watching this and you're not a software engineer, or even if you are, what you should be doing is the same. You should be using GPT-5 to help you build AI systems that you can sell to businesses. Later in the video, I will show you an AI system that you can build and sell, which uses GPT-5 to do something very, very cool. Here are some examples of not systems, but apps that have been created with the use of GPT-5. Uh, this is what OpenAI showed in their presentation. What is that GPT-5, just like many of our other models, is... Whoa. Oh, nice. nice. I really Voila. Okay, seems to be working like a mouse, but let's check maybe the third one. Now, one thing that is funny is that these apps were supposedly created with just a couple of sentences, right, in the prompt. So this is like a one shot prompt and boom, you have a fully functional game or app. This is what OpenAI presented, but I tried it out myself and I asked GPT-5 to make a Pac-Man game for me. And this is what it came up with. To be honest, it was pretty trash. I honestly could not figure out how to move my Pac-Man. I didn't even know where it was. And the worst part was that it took way longer than an AI like, like lovable to build this Pac-Man game and it had one fourth of the quality. Like, I mean, this looks like a middle school project. And you might say, was my prompting off? Well, I don't think so. I'm pretty good at prompt engineering. So I genuinely think GPT-5 just struggled with that task. Maybe it just sucks at making Pac-Man games. I don't know. But in order to prove that, you know, models deserve a second chance too. So I GPT-5 to create a financial dashboard for me. I entered the prompt, I made sure to specify some key features, and I started whipping up the code rather fast. I was actually pretty shocked by how fast I was writing this code. And there was even an error, which I simply clicked the log button and the GPT-5 was able to debug the error, right? Write the necessary code to fix it and everything supposedly seemed that it was working. So I tried running the project and this is what I got. I waited, I waited, I kept waiting. I waited so long, it felt like a eternity passed. So instead I just downloaded the actual code, uh, tried running it on my cursor, got a bunch of more errors. So that financial dashboard actually never ever got built. It, I'm still waiting to this day. It's been about like two hours now. So these are just some personal tests I ran with GPT-5 and recommend you trying it out yourself. But anyone who is selling AI systems and or thinking of starting their own AI business needs to ask themselves three things before thinking, is my business or side hustle a goner? These three questions will tell you if AI has reached the point where people don't need humans to build these AI systems for them. Question number one, can GPT-5 automate an entire workflow if I asked it to? And if so, how editable is that workflow? As good as GPT-5 is or isn't, if I asked it to build an automated system that asks customers in a CRM for Google reviews using personalized emails that include a high quality image, there will be numerous errors. And you might be like, why did you say that specific flow? Well, you're going to be creating it later in the video and I'll give it to you for free. Now, GPT-5 would be great as an AI model that is used by the work workflow, but asking GPT-5 to build the workflow would be a headache, right? The workflow will use GPT-5 to create these personalized emails, but if I were to tell GPT-5 to create the workflow like we tell Lovable to build an AI app, it would be in shambles. The second question you want to ask yourself is, can GPT build an entire app for you? Obviously not. You know, I'm again, it's been two hours. I'm waiting for my simple, very simple financial dashboard, and I still haven't got it. On top of that, I found that out that GPT-5 is actually pretty slow. Like, yeah, it wrote the code pretty fast, but the entire process of it building an app is pretty long. 
and I'm talking about simple apps. Despite a scoring 99% in understanding instructions on the Kali exam, I believe it was the Kali benchmark. Yeah, it was a Kali benchmark. It doesn't mean that it can execute instructions to a 99% satisfaction rate because people pay for ease of mind. They pay for laziness. If AI isn't doing what they want, a lot of business owners will not keep wasting their time reprompting the AI. Instead, they will hire someone who is an AI master to handle everything for them. Even if the fixes are simple fixes because people are lazy. Business owners don't have the time to start reprompting these AIs like GPT-5 or the other models to get the desired result, right? They'll just hire someone to do it for them. And that's where you come in. It's your time to shine. And the last question is, can GPT-5 maintain an app or system? In other words, if things break, is GPT-5 capable enough to fix everything that broke and make sure the app is back up and running? The answer is no. And this happened to me before when an agent I had built crashed. The login flow was no longer working because I exceeded the rate limit for emails that are being sent with my Superbase backend. As a result, I had to manually fix this to make sure people were able to sign up for my app again. Uh, I asked AI initially to do it, but it failed uh, multiple times. So I had to do it, you know, the good old fashioned way, manual. It was a small fix, but even though it was a small fix, I still had to do it myself. And most business owners, right, who have never developed anything, whether it be a no code automation or a code based automation, they're not going to do anything related to, you know, fixing an app. And if AI is not able to do that fixing for them, again, they're going to rely on a real person. And that is, again, is where you come in. It's funny because it's the same business owners. When I ask people to DM me on Instagram, if they want a free automation, they'll slide up and DM me, but they won't actually know how to even run the automation. Like all you have to do is click, right? And they can't even do that. It's, I don't know why they want the automation, like maybe for like their trophy case or something. So now that you know GPT-5 isn't going to make you go broke, let me show you an AI system that does exactly what I said in question one. It asks customers in a CRM for Google reviews to personalize emails and image generation to make the email stand out that much further. So we have this workflow right here where you can see the model that we're using is GPT-5. So this will create the best output that we need from any open AI model, right? What it does is it get rows from, from a Google Sheets, right? It goes over the rows and these rows have emails of customers of a business. And then what it will do is it will send a very personalized email to each customer, the name, the product they purchased, the email, right? And this is the instructions that we're giving it as well as a prompt, right? Now, the emails that will be produced will ha each have an image. Again, what's, what this we're just using Dolly 3, so keeping it simple. Um, we rely on OpenAI to create a very cool model, a very cool photo that we can put into the email, right? This will really grab the attention of the customers because which customer wants a very a boring email, right? You want emails that customers are like, whoa, this got my attention. I mean, respond to it and actually do what it says and leave a review, right? And, and then it sends the message um, to the customer, right? It sends the email to them via Gmail. And here's some example emails that have been sent with this flow. See, very personalized and GPT-5 does a really good job of doing this. GPT-4 wasn't bad, but GPT-5 is better. This is where GPT-5 shines, right? And this flow is very powerful because businesses need Google reviews to get more customers. So they'll be willing to spend a lot of money to get more reviews. So this is something that you can actually sell to businesses for maybe your first $500 online, your first $1,000 online, you can get even crazier with it. If you want this workflow, all you have to do is join my free school community and go to the classroom and you'll find a collection of free AI systems that you can start selling today. If you want to see me build a dental AI system, watch this video next.